Well, another video, another excuse to go out and have some coffee. This time I'm taking my camera stuff to do some photography. Uh, the 150 to 600 is in my bag with another camera to film with. Um, so I'm going to try and do some wildlife today. And we've got a sun, sunrise kind of burning right now, so I better get a move on because i got about 15 minutes to get to where I'm supposed to be to take some wildlife photography. On top of that, I forgot to put my mic on, so if this intro sounds a little wonky, that's why. But when I get there, I'll slap that mic on and things should sound a little better. Let's get over there real quick. All right, looks like I made it here with good time. The sun is just about to come up over the tree line way back there. So I've got a moment here. Got a lot of waterfowl. I like to watch, uh, there's a couple of eagle nests across the river and into the preserve that they kind of fly back and forth from. Yeah, just a lot of cool stuff. So a lot of bird photography, bird related photography around here. We'll see what we get today. Sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's a lot of different things. So let's go see. And we will make some coffee. I promise you that because I need some. All right, I don't know if you could hear any of that, but we've got some ducks, plenty of ducks. Uh, we've got plenty of geese. I do see one of the eagles hanging in a tree on the other side of the river. I see a swan way up river. I'm hearing a couple things I can't really identify yet. It's one of the beauties of this area is at any time of the year, there's always something new. There's always a diversity that I just can't match with most other places that I can visit. This close to home anyway. So what I'm gonna do first is take advantage of this golden light. I'm gonna get my stuff out over there at the table and uh, try and see what we can catch while the light's really nice right now. And then we'll make some coffee. I brought my hand grinder and I'd rather not scare everything off while the light's nice. So let's take some pictures first. Other than a couple of geese and mallards, it's pretty quiet out here. But I'm not giving up yet. From where I'm standing here, I can't see the bald eagle anymore. But plenty of mallards. So I figured it'd be safe to take you along here tell you I'd take wildlife photography and then show you something half decent but if all I've got are geese and mallards to show you the coffee will have that beat by a mile oh no that's interesting our kingfisher is back during the summer spring summer and the fall the kingfisher are re really prevalent out here um, and they'll stay here as long as there's access to food the kingfisher won't migrate out. Um, so if you hear that, that harsh chirping, that's the kingfisher on the other side of the river finding a place to perch. 
until it dives down in the water, catches some small fish, comes back up and eats it. It's a very effective hunter, but it's hard to capture on camera. It's very fast and agile. Um, so, you gotta kinda know its perch places to anticipate where it's gonna kinda bounce back to and from. But they're a fun challenge to photograph. Let's see if I can get one on camera. So the kingfisher is currently perched. I got a couple shots of him in the tree. The trick is to kind of wait for him to make a move. And you have to quickly determine is he moving to another perch or is he going straight down to catch some fish? Because your movement has to be very quick to go along with his or hers. So we'll see. Now the cool thing is, they don't usually hang on a perch for too long. They like to stay mobile. So it shouldn't be long before I see some action here. Those are just ducks. I feel like he's trying to wait me out now. I could really use some coffee. So I'm hoping that if this kingfisher makes a move in the next few minutes, that it's something interesting that I can catch. I'll take a break and we'll make some coffee. Well, I hope this doesn't make for the most boring content ever. It's had to have sat there for 15, maybe 20 minutes now. In fact, I think a woodpecker just flew behind the camera here. Let's adjust this, I look a little dark. It's hard to tell. Ooh, how about that? Hopefully that's better. Kingfisher's still in the perch. I saw something red and white back there, so I was thinking a downy woodpecker. I didn't get a shot off on it. It moved out of my visibility pretty quickly. But he didn't look like he went up and left. So he's down in some tall reeds that I just can't see. Oh! Okay. I was right. I do believe it's a downy woodpecker. Oh, that was cool. And you know what? I think that's good enough for me to take a small break and make some coffee. The kingfisher will come and go, they always do. But I need coffee now. Well, forgot to hit record there. I don't know how much you did or didn't see. Luckily, I haven't started brewing yet. But I got 15 grams ready in my Hario hand grinder, some Brazil, so we'll get this started. Oh, look at that, first try. Let's grind some coffee. And there is a coffee related message that I wanted to talk about today. Though I do feel a little distracted watching all the wildlife I could have taken a shot of fly by and swim by as I'm making coffee now. Excuse me, I got some chipping sparrows right next to me here. Anyway, let's get back to the coffee. I've already got my filter in there. So I'm just gonna get our coffee in, pour the water in while it's hot. Seal off that pressure, and we'll try and wait about a minute and a half. And while we wait, let's break some stuff down. 
minute and a half here, we're gonna plunge. Oh, <laughs> you don't wanna plunge while you're on your scale still. Goodness, good way to break a scale. Smelling good. All right. So there is this one thing that I wanted to bring up. It's not a technical thing and it's pretty subjective. This series has been a great exercise for me to brew coffee in challenging or beautiful places, in the places that I really love to spend my time. And this phenomenon is the idea or belief that your coffee tastes so much better when you're out doing something you love or just when you're outside enjoying nature. Now don't get me wrong, I've had great coffee in my kitchen. In a controlled setting, there's a lot you can achieve. But on the opposite end, you would think the opposite would apply. Where there's a ton of wind, it's cold out, you're not paying enough attention to some of the things you're doing and you end up making terrible coffee. But it's almost like you make better coffee. I don't know if there's a scientific look into this at all, but it's one of the reasons that's motivated me to keep making this series. There's a psychological aspect to it. Well, you're enjoying the place that you're making the coffee in, so of course your judgment of that coffee is going to be more positive because you're already enjoying what you're doing. And that's true. I think that has a lot to do with it. <laughs> and you know what? It's so good. All I was really trying to say is, you can make great coffee anywhere, and you should. I'm going to tack on to the end of the Mackinac Island video and say, yes, you can make great coffee anywhere. And you should. I don't know, for whatever reason, it just tastes better. It's just, it's just, it's just better. If I made this coffee at home, it wouldn't be as good as it is right here, right now. And that's the angle that I wanted to take for today. Yeah, I'm doing some photography and that's, that's a huge, huge passion of mine, especially wildlife photography. But I wanted to come out here today, make some coffee, and kind of just bounce these ideas off, off my camera, off you guys. Do you guys notice this? Do you go out for a hike or, or, or a nature walk or go fishing or do you do something where you bring along the coffee or you make the coffee like I did and it just tastes so good? Let me know in the comments below. If I got to show you any images today, I hope you like them. It's a lot of fun for me to make that stuff and I figured it was probably time to start incorporating some of the photography that I do into some of these videos because often my excuse to get out of the house has to do with photography. And if I'm bringing coffee out of the house, I may as well just do them both. If you like that, let me know. I would really appreciate if you subscribed if you're new here. Hit that like button if you like the video. You don't have to, but it helps me know you like the content. And it helps me to make content that you like. I don't think I'm gonna get that Kingfisher doing anything interesting. But at least I get to sit here with some wonderful coffee and watch the sunrise. And I hope you guys can do the same sometime too. Get out there and enjoy nature a little bit, huh?